Leveling up. Are you at a place where you want to move to that next rung, but you just don't have the tools to get you there? Joining us this morning to share some practical steps, Professor of Communications at Roger Williams University and Executive Leadership Coach, Dr. Hume Johnson. Professor Hume Johnson. Which one do you want to use? Professor and Doctor? Uh, the two of them. It, it, you. Uh, we're friends. Empress. We've been friends Empress. And colleagues forever. <laughs> Empress so. Humilina. We will go That's... with you. <laughs> so good Hel to see you soon. Congratulations Hello. on the new set. The new set looks wonderful. Oh, thank you very much. We are quite pleased with the feedback we have re been receiving and yours. We will add to the list. Um, good to see you, lady. You've developed Always. quite a, a brand for yourself. You're, you've obviously leveled. Uh, yourself right up, storied career <laughs> in media, and now you sit where you sit, helping others who want to build their own brands um, and to level themselves up. So let's talk a little bit about the building blocks on your journey, because I'm sure that's a paradigm for somebody else who may be watching. Before we break it out properly, yes. how did you get from where you started? So you left Caramac and then steadily. Yeah. You know, it's so interesting, uh, me and you having this conversation, because I remember the first time that I wanted to become a broadcaster. I was 14, and I, I was listening to Radio Jamaica a lot when I lived in St. Anne. And so I've come full circle. And one of the first people I met when I decided to train my voice for broadcast was Simone Clark. Simone! Uh, that show we are know. I don't know if you remember those days when we were learning how to speak on air. And so I was living my dream at that time. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, and so I made that shift from rural Jamaica. I was desperate to get into Kingston to make sure that I got the training and the resources that I needed. And obviously, I went to Carrimac. We were at Carrimac uh, together. And for those who don't know what Carrimac is, it's the Caribbean School of Media and Communications. And so after that, I really landed my first job on television with the government's news agency, GIS Television, as host of Jamaica Magazine. <laughs> I mean, I love thinking about all of how far we have come. And, and then I, I, I landed at Radio Jamaica as a news reader, actually on your program. I read the news twice in the afternoon. At Fame. Program at Fame mm -hmm, at that. So, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I knew that I needed to do more. At yes. some stage, I felt that I could achieve more and I wanted more. And so when my opportunity came uh, in New Zealand, and so... Uh, I had to jump at that opportunity, but it was terrifying. It, it, I still can see the look on my mother's face when she dropped me off at the airport. It, it was trauma. We didn't know where New Zealand was. It was on the other end of the world. The only thing I knew about New Zealand was that the butter in the supermarket said made in New Zealand. And here I was traveling to this place. Uh, but... You, know you what? started your studies and here you are. But you know what? Implicit in what you're right. saying, Hume, um, is uh, two things I, I take as key takeaways from what you're saying is one, the ability to recognize that there is more and you want something more and, and what that feels like in your gut. Um, and two, the notion that to achieve that, you really have to kind of step outside of your comfort zone. Um, to step into that next level. So let's talk through the practical steps. Where do you start? It starts with a recognition, right? That what I'm doing now is not enough. I think I have more in me. You know what? Let's just say that I was living what I wanted to do. To become a broadcaster was my goal and my dream. I couldn't see anything beyond that. But once you're in it and you're learning new skills, and you recognize that you know what your value is and what you can offer other people, then you have to start thinking that, okay, where else can I take the skills that I have? Where else can I take the, the, the vision that I have for myself? And so it's not just recognition because you, you have to build out what your skills are first. And you have to know who you are at your core and what your purpose is. 
And so when I work with people on their personal brand, I don't start on social media because that's just conveying uh, what your brand is. I start with who you are, what your personality is. Do I have the aptitude for the goals that I have? Can I develop the human skills? Those, you know, am I confident enough? Am I determined? Am I reliable? Can I hack it when things go awry? And right. if, if I fail, can I still pick myself up? Those are critical to having success. And so I, you know, at some stage I was always confident, but I think as you go through your life and you face challenges, you realize that you can handle more. Right. And there are other people in my life who believe that I could do more. And so I kind of harness all of that. And so I moved into another arena, but I can't say that it was an easy uh, process. Right. So um, we're, we're extrapolating what you're yeah. saying now and we're putting it into the broader discussion. So the recognition um, being able to know what your strengths are, what your gaps are as you navigate that journey. You also made another point that's important, which is to have support around you, even when sometimes you don't know where New Zealand make butter, but what has happened over there? Okay, I don't know, but mommy is with me. Mommy is supporting my dream. Mommy is supporting my vision. So in order to level up, you need that support as well. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, uh, you also need people in your ears to say that it is possible. I remember when I landed in New Zealand, it was the first time I was living ab abroad and away from Jamaica and away from my routine, away from my family, away from the life that I knew. And it was really uncomfortable. There's a lot of anxiety in the first six months. And I remember my supervisor used one word that has stuck with me and it was surrender. Surrender. This is not this is not Jamaica. Surrender to your environment. And I had to exhale. Yeah. This is it. This is where I am. I can do this. Yeah. And so and when you were young, uh, and good thing I was brought up in Jamaica because it Jamaica can be a coarse society, but we do have that confidence. We have a collective confidence that you see it on display at the world championship. We have that grit and that determination to succeed no matter what the arena is. And I think that uh, I'm not an athlete, but I certainly like uh, watching sports because I, I think that athletes are great models for what kind of personality you have to exclude, that outlook, that mental fortitude, that confidence, that knowing that you can achieve more. Yeah. And so the, the support of family is that anchors you, it allows you to stay put and to achieve what you, you're, you're doing, but you have to have your own anchor based yeah. on what your values are, what you know to be true, what your skills are, and also be willing to learn yes. new skills. Yes. Be willing to fail as well and still uh, stick with it. Yeah. I always say that there's this quotation that I saw years ago, and it really helped me to navigate the different phases that I was going through. And it was by Robin Skinner, a British psychologist. And he, he, was, he was making an analogy of, of learning to walk, a baby learning to walk. And he said that to walk, you have to lean forward and lose your balance and begin to fall. But you have to trust that you will find a succession of new stabilities with each step. Yep. So the anxiety and then and then to know that if and then to know that if you fall you can get up, eh? You can it's get a, up. It's, yeah, yeah. So you're learning those tools yes. that teaches you how to walk. So if you fall, you know what to do. Yeah, babies do it. We should learn from yeah. them. Hume, we Absolutely. have to go. We could talk about this forever, but some real gems that you dropped there. We really appreciate it. And we know they work because we know you've employed them in your own life. And here you are. So when we have more time, can we bring her back so we can yes. talk some more about it? Thank you very much, Prof. Appreciate it. Professor of Communication yeah. at Roger Williams University and Executive Leadership Coach. Um, flying the Jamaica brand really high wherever she goes. We are very proud of her, uh, Dr. Hume Johnson. Coming up next, PNP Women's Movement begins a new chapter. And we're right back to talk about that after this.